Okay, uh, in the the title of today's uh, video is in the USA, the pigs have uh, been secretly vaccinated with mRNA uh, injections for years, and now they're uh, coming to to uh, for your cattle. So. Uh, my purpose, I help those who fear sickness overcome uh, their their, uh, overcome their illness through uh, natural solutions. Please watch until the end of this video so you can get all the valuable information. What you wouldn't read about is how Ray Pinkle lost his mind, was committed to a mental hospital only to escape and join the police force under the assumed identity of a missing hiker, manipulating his way to the top in a diabolical scheme to get even with Dan Marino, whom he played for the entire thing. What the hell are you talking about? She's not Lois Einhorn. She's Ray Pinkle. She's a man. He's lying. Shut up! <laughs> Let's just see who's lying, shall we? Would a real woman have to wear one of these? Ah. Ah. Boy, that's really on there. But tell me this. Would a real woman be missing these? <laughs> that kind of surgery can be done over the weekend. But I got very much of he could find the time during his busy schedule to get rid of big old Mr. Kanish. Hey, come here. Would you excuse me for just one second? Ladies and gentlemen, my esteemed colleague, Mr. Marino, has just brought some new evidence to my attention. Now, history has certainly shown that even the most intuitive criminal investigator can be wrong from time to time. But if I am mistaken, if the lieutenant is indeed a woman, as she claims to be, then my friend, she is suffering from the worst case of hemorrhoids I have ever seen! That's why Roger Pedactor is dead! He found Captain Winky! <laughs> Good night, everybody! Wonderful audience, I'll be here all week. Be sure to tip your waitress. All right, so uh, uh, say hello to Captain Winky is a line that could have uh, that movie could uh, be work for today because we have all these uh, males who are confused and think they are female. So <laughs> that would be uh, quite the surprise to, to uh, get. Uh, I'm so glad to, or I'm, I feel sorry for anyone who's dating today because, <laughs> man, it's a tough world out there. All right, so for today, I would like to talk about how uh, GMO's uh, genetically modified food was introduced over 20 years ago. Um, they were designed to make uh, food uh, more resistant to weed killer, but they did this uh, through, um, but they did this without any thought as to whether the food is safe. Uh, there, there is no long-term studies proving that to uh, prove that it was safe for humans, and but the unfortunately the food is now in everything. Organic is best. All right, so then we have uh, some uh, from this Food Revolution Network: uh, new developments in GMOs and glyphosate. Uh, new ge uh, genetically engineered crops are beginning to come into the market, which includes salmon in Canada, as well as apples, potatoes. 
Hawaiian uh, papaya, zucchini, yellow summer squash in the, in the United States. So it's important to, uh, to know that glyphosate is uh, being used as a uh, this desiccant. This is an herbicide sprayed on crops that are not genetically engineered. In order to dry them out uh, before harvest, these crops include wheat, barley, oats, many legume, uh, sunflower seeds, and potatoes. This means that foods like uh, maybe uh, non-GMO and are still sprayed with glyphosate. How can you guard yourself against this glyphosate? Foods that are grown or Organically, by definition, non-GMO and glyphosate-free. So you want to avoid GMOs and uh, glyphosate. Choosing organic is more important than ever before. But now, more than ever, you cannot afford to uh, go organic, of course, because that's the case for now. So if you're uh, uh, comforting to uh, know that most fruits and vegetables are still not being genetically engineered or sprayed with glyphosate. And uh, when, whenever you hear about this in thousands of medical studies, which have found that eating fruits and vegetables led to positive health outcomes for large numbers of people, keep in mind that most of their fruits and vegetables in those studies were not grown or organically. So the next time, you're uh, trying to choose which uh, food, organic donut or non-organic kale. Go for the kale. <laughs> yeah, I would stay away from the kale. Uh, I would cook that kale because it has toxins within it too. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I uh, prefer to that you cook everything because it helps get rid of those toxins. Eating raw kale in a salad is, is not to, uh, the best way to do that. All right, so we can uh, make uh, the perfect uh, into enemy, into the enemy of the good for the latest on Jeffrey Smith's work. Uh, okay, all right, thank you. All right, so uh, here's uh, from, uh, from National News. I've got, f luckily, five uh, natural supplements to detox your body of uh, toxic GMOs. So, yeah, if you eat at restaurants, purchase organic or processed food from a grocery store, or even take a vitamin supplement that might not have been uh, consciously crafted with quality ingredients, the chances are you are routinely ingesting genetically modified GMOs. Uh, so w without even knowing it, and unless you take uh, the time to uh, regularly detoxify unnatural poisons, they may be uh, building up inside your body and triggering alterations in, in your natural uh, gene expression, which could uh, would eventually lead to chronic illness, and even death. This is why it's important to, uh, you, uh, to regularly cleanse and detox detoxify your body of uh, transgenic materials that may be damaging the, the natural flora in your gut, which is poisoning your blood, causing gastrointestinal upset and triggering neurological damage, among other conditions, which here are the five natural supplements you can use to detox your body of harmful GMOs. Uh, number one would be a psyllium husk. That's a, uh, a popular one. Yeah, it's, uh, well, uh, this incredible colon cleansing. Now, psyllium husk is favorite when it comes to cleansing protocols that involve flushing the intestines and uh, restoring uh, your health that just functions since uh, GMOs have been shown to uh, directly uh, affect 
directly after the uh, bacterial bounce with the gut, Facillum husk is a powerful remedy to uh, help get rid of the, uh, these trans uh, generic invaders, which uh, will allow, in turn, allow beneficial bacteria to regain their rightful place as uh, regulators of the digestive systems. Individuals with uh, IBS, constipation, diarrhea, uh, ulcerative colitis, and other uh, persistent digestive disorders typically experience dramatic relief uh, by supplementing with uh, facilum husk. So when ingested along with copious amounts of water, facilum husk expands the, the gelatin-like means that uh, basically scrubs the intestines uh, clean of toxic buildup. This uh, same colonic ex action uh, can help with the digestive system of accumulated uh, trans uh, generic material as well. Number two on the list is uh, organic sulfur, MSM. Which, all right, when it uh, comes to Ensuring the liver is operating at its full detoxification capacity, there is perhaps no uh, nutrient more important, more powerful than the organic sulfur, which is also known as uh, MSM. Methsulfalamine, a critical component in detoxification, energy production and cell oxy oxygenation and immune capacity organic sulfur has gained near uh, miracle status uh, among many health professionals who now recognize the lack of this vital nutrient can encourage toxic buildup within the body Our organic sulfur to be uh present throughout the food supply with uh, days of with the days of GMOs, petrochemical fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides, and other uh, modern agricultural interventions. But today it is uh, severely lacking throughout the food supply, supplementing with organic uh, lignin based sulfur crystals will help repair your malfunctioning cells, uh, restore your healthy oxygen transport and ultimately facilitate a, a systemic detoxification process that will encourage the elimination of uh, GMO remnants in your, uh, your system. All right, number three on the list is probiotics. Yeah, I, I use probiotics, but, but yeah, I don't think I've been using them enough because yeah apparently you're supposed to be using it five five times a day so that's what i've been doing lately but yeah uh, this is one way to help uh, if you're if you're suffering so uh, since uh, gmos tend to alter uh, bacterial balance within the gut uh, supplementing well with the probiotics and probiotic rich foods like uh, these the raw sauerkraut kefir kombucha tea, you know, authentic miso soup, fermented vegetable, Yo yogurt, uh, blue-green microalgae and is also vital for protecting your body against the harmful effects of GMO exposure. In conjunction, the, the, the other cleansing protocols mentioned are here, supplementing with high-quality probiotics help ensure that your edges of trap uh, remains free of toxin. But yeah, okay, so I also want to let, it's possible that some people, you know, are going to suffer. Because yeah, you can, if you take, uh, you know, if you take too much probiotics, that can throw you off too. It's important to have like the same amount. So, I mean, the uh, yeah, but you may not. Some people don't even need it if if you're if you're just fine. You know, if your gut is fine, you don't necessarily need it. 
But if you're having issues, then you can take it and it can help if you do it right. So I, yeah, I recommend five times a day with, you know, uh, kind of, I will try to do it every uh, three hours, you know, two to three hours is what I do to kind of spread it out the effects. I do like maybe a tablespoon of it too. So that's what I recommend. All right. Then, uh, Cascadia, so you're a sacred bark, one of the most powerful colon cleansing herbs, Cascadia sagara, which is also uh, by, by the name of sacred bark, California buckthorn, and Ramus uh, persiana. This has long been. In ancient cultures to cleanse the bowel and eliminate toxins. Uh, Cascadia sagrate uh, is rich in compound uh, known as anthraquinone that inst instigates the contraction of intestinal walls, which in turn promotes bowel movement activity. Then the last one would be uh, wild barak root, a powerful uh, cleansing agent. Uh, wild burdock root is easy to obtain and simple to take. An aggressive diuretic, wild, wild burdock root is strong enough to rid the body of hard to reach toxins, including GMOs, residues, and associated herbicides and herbicide chemicals. Burdock root helps uh, cleanse parasites, uh, heavy metals, bacteria, and other to toxins from the blood. It is often uh, used to treat chronic bacterial and viral infections such as Lyme disease. All right. All right, now we have a story from the expose. So the, this one that says that swines in the USA have been uh, secretly uh, vaccinated with mRNA uh, injections for years. And I'm just uh, I'm not going to read this whole article, but yeah, it just says that. But they didn't even tell us that they were doing this. How, I mean, that just it, it's. Uh, disgusting that this is happening, and they're not not even letting, letting us know. But yeah, mRNA is some bad stuff. If you're I mean, that could be causing, I mean, that's causing more people to, to die because of the uh, the uh, from yeah. So I I don't want to go too much into that, but that stuff can cause all sorts of uh, health issues. So it's best that you, luckily, we can know how to detox. And so you don't let, I de detox from this every day for the past two years. And that, yeah, it worked for me. So I've had no issues uh, with uh, uh, from the mRNA or the spike protein. All right. So, yeah, if you're interested in uh, starting your own business or creating video content, uh, I recommend using Video Ranking Academy because uh, the Think Media team is the right amount of experience uh, to train you well. And so, yeah, I've uh, got a link in, uh, in the... In, in the uh the in the description that lets you know the links are down there to click yeah you can click on that if you're interested in that type of information all right thank you very much and have a great day